Hello architects and welcome to a brand new uh, command I want to show off that will, well let's say if RPG Architect takes some of the uh, barriers off to protect you from doing some things like, you know, now you have a shotgun, uh, just if you use it wrong it blows off your leg. This latest feature is basically giving you a rocket launcher instead of the shotgun, so we'll go ahead and get started. So the latest thing we have is the run JSON command. So on its surface, it doesn't seem anything super crazy, but what this lets you do is actually build and run a command that is otherwise saved in a file. So for example, you'll see here, I have this command here that says, this is a JSON command test. Jason. Cool, yeah. So if I open that up, that file, so to show it off, this is on map three. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Notepad plus plus. Again, this is gonna be a super advanced feature. JS format. This is Notepad plus uh, plus. I like using the uh, JS tool plugin. Just helps uh, format so I can read things better. If I look for static message command, you'll see here. One, here's the JSON command, right? But here's the actual command. So here, I can grab the JSON for this message right here. Yeah. I'm going to create a new guy here, and I'm going to JS minimize it. And right now, we know it says this is a JSON command test. I'm going to call this. Uh, this actually really works, dog. You're the man now, dog. Not to, you know, discriminate against anyone otherwise, right? Uh, who might uh, not be a man. Anyways, so we've got this guy here. I'm going to close that down. And I'm going to paste that in here, right? So all that is is it was originally this guy here but now I have formatted it here. I've also made this a little bit easier to work with, so now you can actually put in uh, multiple lines and stuff like that, so it gets better. Um, there we go. So now, if I run it, as I would definitely like to say before I test, you will see, whoop, right here. If I go and chat with this guy right here, this actually really works, dog. You're the man now, dog. So you can see, it actually will let you inject and use your very own um, command. Um, so if you want to do something a little crazier, I'm not going to do it here, you'd be able to do something like create a function that maybe generates that for you. So you might say something like, hey, I've got a function, I want to have a person who's talking, so I'm going to set that, uh, if we just look at the anatomy of this command real quick. Uh, Let's go back to Notepad++. Ah, we won't. Okay. But if we want to make it so that the body can change, we could have this first part. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I said I wasn't going to. said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. I'm going to make a function that does this for me. Scroll down here. Functions. Do some dialogue. I like actually dial go. Bert, that was has you all over it. Okay, and we're gonna have one output variable. Call that output variable. Call it command. And the first ones we're gonna call <laughs> not high. We'll call this one header. We'll call this one body. So, change variable for command to be equal to equal command. Not sure why this is showing up here. This is probably a vestige of something else. We got this one, and then I'm going to go ahead and do manipulation change variable and work on that local. I'm going to say this guy, and I am going to add 
another local variable, whatever I pass in. In that case, it's going to be the body. Then I'm going to do some more with it. I'm going to do a paste. And this one is going to set add a value. Just leave it that for now. Then copy that again. Uh, and then I'm going to paste, copy, paste, all good programmers, just this is all they do guys. Just copy and paste forever. I'm going to paste in the header, and I'm going to do that final paste. And that should be it, but let's go ahead and actually make this correct. So, got that, this actually really works. Dog, you're the man now, dog. And we're going to go ahead and go here, and we're going to go to header. Isolate that. Okay. Tools database. It's going to open us right back up here. I'm going to inject that right here. So it's going to take that first piece. It's going to stitch in the body that I pass in. Then it's going to put the header. Then it's going to attach the header. And finally, got to get that last bit of the, the command. And this to the very end. Cut that out. Cut that out. Lock. Cut that out. Right there. We're going to add this guy in. Now I'm going to check out and figure out what's going on with this before I push today. Now I'm going to do something really crazy. I'm going to do a function. Whoop. Call function. Do some dialogue. Let's make the first one be some user. That's the header. Our body is going to be Jean Locke is awesomer than Picard. Yo. And I'm going to store that in hero count. Yeah, why not? That's a terrible place to put it. So now I'm going to pass in hero count for the JSON command. And we should see now if I did this right. If I didn't, then Editor Bert will come in here and fix it and stitch it together with one where it does work. Walk up to him. Jean Locke is awesomer than Picardio. There you go. And zero dollars. So, why didn't the header show? It's because my default uh, UI, the first one, default message box, does not actually have a header element in it. But let's go ahead and add one. Dar. I'm seriously loving all of this uh, stuff. Oh, let's go back to it. That needs to be added. Isn't it great when you actually have to use your own product and then find out that everything's broken? Let's go here, 0, 0, 100%. Okay, so it's probably going to show up at the very top. Uh, I'm just going to call it just so we can see where it's at so we know where to look. Chumba, wum, wumba. Okay. Save this one more time. Sorry, all you guys are getting a very rough visual of what this does. Now, if I go here, you'll see some user, which we injected there. So it's literally building this entire JSON uh, for you. You could do all sorts of other cool things with this. Um, potentially checking if you have a different user and showing their portrait and other things. But this would actually let you control how you build things over and over again. So if someone actually asked for this today, uh, not directly this, but the ability to script uh, via uh, code. And this kind of came to mind to do this. Uh, and it's super cool. I'm very excited to share this with you. And again, doing this is gives you the complete potential to hose your user and yourself so be very mindful of how you use it because uh, as I said if RPG Architect uh, takes away your dagger from other maker engines as far as customizability and gives you you know a shotgun uh, 
this element here gives you a rocket launcher potentially with like a little mini nuke on it so um, you could cause some serious problems especially if your user can uh, modify variables or if you let them input stuff so be very mindful of that but with that i hope you guys have fun and i hope this is useful and don't forget to like and subscribe because remember bert is still starving in georgia y'all and every dime, every penny you guys put into RPG Architect, a very, 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 very infinitesimally small fraction of that goes to make sure that he can eat. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.